You know, the rescue package doesn't seem like it's enough. Well, we've loaned a lot of money to the banks, but I think a capital injection is what's needed. Probably should have been done earlier, in which the Treasury actually buys equity stakes in the banks that, uh, that are important to the stability of the economy. And uh, that's what I think they're now leaning towards doing. So I think they're going to do the right thing, but it's coming a little bit late. I don't think they need to take these banks over. I think in the United States we're very uh, leery of kind of nationalizing the banks, and I don't think we need to do that. I suppose it might come to that, but hopefully not. John, what's wrong with that? Well, you, you say that that's really not necessary. Uh, wouldn't that be a positive to know that the government is there as a shareholder? Uh, ready oh, to absolutely. Absolutely, yes. And I think... Uh, we're facing the unthinkable and we've got to think about the unthinkable and the unthinkable is that the governments take over banks. I agree with Martin they shouldn't be nationalized but the government should make major stakes just as they did in British Petroleum. And in British Petroleum the government had a golden share which I think, remember rightly when I was at Morgan Stanley some 40 years ago it was about 25 percent of the company but they didn't interfere. They let BP do its business and it became a preeminent oil company. You don't have to be a great footballer to own and bankroll a football team. And so the government doesn't need to interfere, but it has to inject confidence. And the only confidence that now we've reached the stage where I believe Horton and Bernanke, who I think have done a terrific job, they have to leap in and think the unthinkable and actually nationalize just the money center banks, the big ones through which the main flows go, not every single bank in America, but, but and they give preemptive rights to the shareholders, so that down the road, uh, if, when they sell their shares, they give preemptive rights of price to the shareholders they've diluted. Well, do you agree, though, with Martin, that we could actually see the government take stakes, and it doesn't have to be a controlling stake, it doesn't have to be a nationalization? Well, I think it has to be, a, by myself, it's my only difference with them. I think we will see it, actually, one sort of stake, and I would urge uh, Paulson and Ban Anke to leap ahead of the curve because we're now facing a very, very serious, unthinkable abyss. And I think you have to go in with a controlling interest. There are two types of nationalization. Preemptive, which is done for political reasons I totally disagree with, but rescue. And now we're coming in with a new third type, which is ins inspirational, which is inspirational of confidence. And that's what it's there for. Yeah. You know, Martin, I also am a, a, a free market person and obviously capitalist. Uh, but, you know, when you look at the government's involvement and, and the need for oversight now, uh, you have to blame the corporations in general. I mean, we, we, did, we, would, we wouldn't be looking at this uh, proposal if it weren't that the banks took on too much risk. And, in fact, there wasn't enough regulation. Well, I don't know whether we need more regulation. I think we should have had more effective regulation. But I still think the banks are the best people to operate themselves and the best people to deal with these distressed assets uh, and, and dispose of them appropriately. I, I think it's, we don't really want the government getting into that business. But at this point, uh, as, as was said, we need more confidence in the system, and that means we have to inject enough capital. The banks don't have enough capital, and if they don't have enough capital, they can't lend, and then that really knocks Main Street out of the, uh, out of the box. Actually, Maria, you know, it's, it's easy to blame the banks only, but really the root cause, and the government keeps saying it's the property decline, the root cause is government. The flooding of the liquidity under the right. Bush-Greenspan plans, and then the overriding of individual states' anti no, lending laws. A lot of private That's sector what problems. The problem. A lot of private sector problems. Well, you have to yeah, point the finger at a lot, of, a lot of different uh, uh, places, though. I mean, even the borrowers who took on mortgages that really they didn't have the wherewithal yeah. to actually I agree. carry. The root cause. The root cause: low interest rates, free money. Got it, gentlemen. Good to have you on the program. Great conversation. We appreciate it. We'll talk Thank with you, you soon. Later on in the closing bell, we are going inside uh, the uh, global banking story. We're talking about Russia's banking system. I'll talk exclusively with Andre Kostin. He's the CEO of VP.